What is good people? And before we start this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Autosave Gaming. They cover games and ap that appeal to casual gamers and hardcore and they're going to be doing giveaways soon. So please check them out. Uh, their links in the description below and of course on the screen. So follow them on Instagram and Twitter and you're going to get some good gaming goodness from Autosave Gaming. So anyways, let's start this and yes, we're going to be doing the Jack and Daxter series. Uh, so as p people that don't know, Jack and Daxter pretty much came out a long, long time ago. But the company Naughty Dog have made some great hits for the PS1. If you probably know, uh, Crash Bandicoot. So now we're about to start the intro and uh, hope you guys enjoy the story because I think it's much better than Ratchet and Clank and I'm not bashing on Ratchet and Clank. I just think that Naughty Dog has a better production team and experience to give uh, the players a better storyline than Insomnia. So here you go. Enjoy. I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right, and then And, Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? 
There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Eh, uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Alright, so there you have it. That was the intro for Jack and Daxter. And uh, just to recap of what actually happened, they went to some island to uh, research more about Dark Eco. And Daxter, being the stupid guy that he is, jumped into the well and turned into a... I don't even know what that is. Uh, he turned into uh, Timon from this, I mean, Lion King. He's Timon, yeah. So now we're just gonna go and practice, and they're pretty much gonna show us the mechanics of how Jack actually walks. And if you're actually familiar um, with this move right here, the spin, this is very iconic because this is um, usually known from Crash, right? Crash Bandicoot, the famous spin. And now they've implemented it to Jack, and it's a great way to tell people pretty much to fuck off. All right, so the main premise of this game, it's it's a lot like a collect a collecting game. You guys ever played Banjo and Kazooie where you have to collect like so many shit? That's this is what it pretty much is and you have to collect these precursor orbs in um, every level that you go through. And a certain amount you get it and you can trade it in for a power cell and power cells it is that huge ball thing with four balls around it. And there it is. Yep. This is a power cell. So our main goal right now is to grab 20 of those, but those aren't so easy to come by, actually. Um, you might think that, oh yeah, we go through this whole obstacle course, we're gonna get it 5. Yeah, later on, it's gonna, you're gonna have to do a lot more uh, than just do that in order to get 20 of them, because 20 is a lot. Uh, but not as much as Banjo and Kazooie, because Banjo and Kazooie was like overkill. I think they literally made that game to fuck with people. Another thing that we can collect are these, uh, I forgot what they're called. These bugs. I just call them bugs. And you collect a certain amount, I think you collect seven in each place. And you get a uh, power cell if you collect seven. Yeah. Okay, so this one is called the Blue Eco, and Ecos are pretty much elements in this game. The green Eco uh, gives you life if you collect a certain amount of orbs, and Blue Eco makes you go faster and uh, lets you activate things that would uh, would need Blue Eco in order to activate. And of course, you become like Sonic the Hedgehog as well. Look at you, it's going around and pretty much blowing things up. Okay, alright, here we go. Oh my god, there we go. See, this is green eco. You collect 50 and you get one life point, and Jack has three life points. 
I don't even know if we have to hit those things. So there you go. This is the door that would need Blue Eco while you're being charged to open because they always has that symbol on the top. So where the fuck is the Blue Eco? There we go. That, my friends, is a Blue Eco geyser that will pretty much give you unlimited amounts of Blue Eco and it'll boost um, your gauge all the way to the top which can you can use in order to you know use the items or open gates ah, I have the power of Zeus yes there we go another one sweet yeah give you a little bit more uh, moves on how, what the fuck Okay, sure, I'll go through here. Alright. As you can see here, the platforming is crazy good in this game. And it's not even, it's not too easy, like Ratchet and Clank was too easy, but this one, oh, it'll actually give you a challenge. Um, okay, yeah. now he's explaining to us the green balls are, green eco is going to give us life if we collect 50 of them blah 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 yes old man we understand um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the type of uh, attack moves that Jack has for square button he has the punch move which is also very nice if you wanna sort of evade an attack really quickly so you just kinda sidestep with this the next one is a spin obviously the next one is you jump and you press square and you do this like flying headbutt thing. Rest in peace, Chris Benoit. Even though you killed your family, that's a bit fucked up. Either way, rest in peace. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can jump and spin, you can spin underground, and the best part is you get an uppercut. So after you do the square, you press X. Yeah, and you do some sure you can shit. Sure you can, sure you can spin. Oh, and Jack can also double jump. Forgot to tell you guys that. It's a really uh, nice thing to have. As you can see, he has no backpack. It's not like Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank, where he has gadgets and technology to help him out. This guy is pure all natural. Blue Eco. See, some platforms can be activated by Blue Eco, as you can see here. So we're back down here, but I'm pretty sure we're not done here yet. I know I missed like a way or something because those blue blue ecos just started going oh there's another move uh, I have to show you guys it's called the roll and jump so you can roll normally with R1 but if you press X right after it you'll do this nice leap which is great uh, to get you over very very long distance jumps and just to make you run faster I mean you know you can go through stages pretty fast with it but the main thing is um, that in this game there's going to be a lot of walking around because it's it's not like Ratchet and Clank where you have a a planet and then you're you know, pretty much done with the planet and you move on. This one you have to um, pretty much just keep going. Um, I I ha I don't know I don't remember like how exactly this game went. I played this game like so long ago and I was super young and I was super stupid. So yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to go somewhere here. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Nope, not here. Wait, am I done? Oh shit! Okay, spikes can hurt you. I forgot about that. I'm supposed to go down here on the beach? Yes, I am! Sweet! Blue Eco! Uh, I think we're supposed to do one more thing here. Oh no, we're done! So we have to go back. I'm such an idiot. I'm not even keeping track of what's actually happening in this game. And whoa, this video is way longer than I expected it to be so we're probably gonna end it right after the credits so this is it guys um, 
I hope you subscribe because there's going to be way more uh, Jack and Daxter videos that are coming. I have the HD collection, so we have a long way to go, all the way to Jack 3. And my favorite is Jack 2, and I can't wait for that. So anyways, um, press this button. Sweet, alright, see you guys later. Peace. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here!